Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Earlier on this channel, I had published a video and a course on a website how to build a chatbot with Python and OpenAI and Langchain. But this was just a local chatbot without publishing it to the cloud for someone to use. And then sometime later, we published a separate tutorial about publishing any machine learning model as API with Flask and deploy that to DigitalOcean, for example. So then we decided to combine those two together and build a chatbot as API for someone to consume. And personally, I come from PHP and Laravel framework background. So I decided to choose that as a client, as a web page to consume that chatbot from Python API. And in this video, I will show you the code and how it works. So here's the website in PHP and Laravel, not in Python. And we can ask a chatbot a question about FAQ from our website about Laravel, about pricing of membership and stuff like that, like a typical FAQ of any website. For example, do you have a yearly plan? And then when I hit send, there will be API call to the Python script, which in my case will be on my local computer as a Flask server, but you can place that anywhere online as API. So let's go to PyCharm to that code and start the Flask server. We have the main script app.py here, which in turn calls the chatbot chain and we'll get to that in a minute. I will explain the code, but for now let's run it. So we go flask one, which would automatically run app.py. And now we have the URL, which will be called from the front end PHP website. And now when we hit send, here's our answer. There's yearly plan available. Another message, for example, any discounts for that and we can actually make typos. That's okay with OpenAI. And yes, the result is that we do offer purchasing power parity. So yeah, this is the chatbot. And if we go to PHP code, here's Laravel application. It actually calls the API like this. You don't need to know any Laravel or PHP code for that, but you should be able to understand that this is an API call to our Python script. Now let me briefly explain how that code works and I will put that code on GitHub as well and the link will be in the description below so you will be able to play around yourself and try it out. So the application itself is a Flask application, Flask framework with one route, chat with history. And that history is important because chatbot remembers your history and passes that to OpenAI every time as part of the prompt. So what is happening here with this route? We get the request in JSON, so we have query and history, and then we call that chatbot with history. I will show you that in a minute. It's a separate method from chatbot chain. We have JSON returned, and that JSON is then parsed from frontend in PHP. And the whole logic is in chatbot with history. So app.py is kind of flask layer, API layer, but the logic is in this file chatbotchain.py. I did explain how chatbots work in general in the course on Python ML Daily here. I will link in the description below. And there was also a video version. I will also link that. So you can go through that in 20 or 30 minutes in depth. But for now, an overview. We load our data from CSV, which is just question and answer columns. We turn that into so-called embeddings, which is, by the way, not free because we use OpenAI embeddings as well as GPT from OpenAI is not free. So we use two services, two APIs from OpenAI. We store those embeddings into a vector store with library FAISS. Those embeddings and vectors are number representation from the texts of questions and answers because numbers are what computers and algorithms work with. And then we use a few things from a library called Langchain to tie it all together with convenient shorter code. So we build our chat message history and add the message after it is sent. And then we create a conversation with Langchain class and create a conversation chain. So this is a memory and we pass that memory into a chain as one of the parameters. We use the model called GPT-4. This is its full name. And then we return that chain with prompt 
and that prompt includes chat messages history. So we built that prompt with quite a long F string and a list comprehension here. And then our chain calls OpenAI and returns that result with answer as a part of that chain. So we get that answer into this object in app.py and return that as part of the JSON coming from our Python API into this website. So again, I will link all of that in the description below with code on GitHub and you may play around with it yourself. And if you have any questions about specific part of that application, shoot in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and practical projects with Source on GitHub. And see you guys in other videos.